so hello friends uh, so let's learn about the most important theory of the dental caries is the acidogenic theory now this acidogenic theory it is also called as chemical parasitic theory it was first proposed by miller okay so that is why this is the most accepted theory it is till date which is the most accepted theory of the dental caries okay it is the miller's chemical parasitic theory or also called as acidogenic theory now it has three components that is carbohydrate when the bacteria act on these carbohydrate resulting in the formation of acid now this acid causes demineralization of the tooth structure resulting in the dental caries okay so acidogenic theory proposed by miller in 1889 he propagated the concept of acid formation in the oral cavity by action of microorganism so what is it basically when the microorganisms they act on the carbohydrate resulting in the formation of acid now what are these acid these are either lactic acid or the butyric acid what they will do they will demineralize the enamel surface now we know that enamel it is rich in inorganic portion okay it has 97% of the inorganic part now what about the organic part once there is disintegration of the enamel the organisms along with the acid penetrates the dentinal tubules leading to the dissolution of the dentin and then as i told 97% is the inorganic what about the organic part the proteolytic enzymes finally digest the organic part so remember inorganic part it is getting demineralized by the acid while the organic part it is getting demineralized by the proteolytic enzyme so as in together there are three factors involved in the miller's chemical parasitic theory okay it is the microorganism carbohydrates when these microorganisms act on the carbohydrate resulting in the formation of acid so initially there is formation of acid that means initially there is inorganic portion is involved later the organic part or the protein degradation occurs okay now there are few drawbacks associated with this acidogenic theory or the miller's chemical parasitic theory that is they were not they were not able to explain the caries on the smooth surface of the teeth particular type of microorganisms were not able to be isolated which is responsible for the particular acid now the third point the third drawback was the phenomena of the arrested caries certain population they exhibit less caries despite of consuming enough amount of carbohydrate they were they were not able to explain why the certain amount of population they were exhibiting less caries even though they were consuming enough amount of carbohydrate caries of the unerupted or the Im impacted tooth they were not able to explain caries dentin if left under a filling or the restoration they continue to decay okay so all these were the drawbacks of the miller's chemical parasitic theory so stay tuned for the proteolytic theory